Oh boy, we have some big news today. Yes, right. What's up? All right. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some major 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 news today first 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 give the video a big thumbs up thumbs up like 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 and ps5 console giveaway for subscribers make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and following me on twitter let's get to the news the first one Big news. Now, I originally talked about this a couple days ago, but it was unofficial. It was coming from VGCharts.com, but Sony today has confirmed the PlayStation 5 has surpassed 10 million consoles. That's right. The PS5 has sold over 10 million consoles, which is crazy considering... It's been a global pandemic, microchip shortages, all of this stuff, and it's still managed, even with console strengths, still crush the 10 million mark. It is still, right now, the fastest selling console in U.S. history. Of every video game console that's ever been sold in the U.S., the PS5 has the crown right now so this is the first news item we got a couple more lit news items in this video but the first one ps5 has sold over 10 million and i have to say i tweeted out on twitter i retweeted um playstation's tweet and i wrote and i said definitely enjoying my ps5 of the three definitely the better overall gaming experience this generation and just my humble opinion Nintendo has things for their fan base. Xbox has things for their fan base. But for me, Sony has delivered what I wanted in a next-gen console. The games have been amazing. The overall experience, the DualSense controllers, but even starting with Spider-Man Miles Morales at launch, and then my game of the year still, Returnal. So good. Man, I missed this game. It's just I platinumed it, so I don't have really anything else to do in it. Return, bro, I can't wait. I hope they do DLC for this game. But Returnal, my game of the year. Ratchet and Clank was amazing. And even right now, I'm platinuming. I'm going through a platinum run on Demon Souls on my gaming channel before King of Bridges Spirits comes out at the end of the month. And so PS5 has eclipsed 10 million consoles sold, which is incredible. Herman Holtz, the head of PlayStation Studios, he's also tweeted out, PS5 sales milestone, 10 million. Huge thanks to the PlayStation community for your support and to the talented teams at Sony San Diego, Insomniac Games, and Housemark for making incredible PS5 games. Now, <coughs> Insomniac Games, I know Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and Ratchet and & Clank. Housemark Returnal. What is... What PS5 game has Sony San Diego um, launched for the PS5? It's not coming off the top of my head, but please, somebody let me know uh, in the comment section of this video what PS5 games has launched from Sony San Diego. I can't remember off the top of my head, but great, great news for PlayStation and not just um, PlayStation has great news. Xbox has something to stick their chest out on today. Breaking news from Xbox. Xbox Series X and S are Microsoft's fastest selling consoles ever. And so if you just compare Xbox consoles, OG Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, of course Xbox One didn't sell that good. The Xbox Series X and S are Xbox's fastest selling consoles ever which is pretty good stuff. Uh, some of my um, sponsors in, in, in our private Discord has told me that Xbox has passed 6.5 million 
of Xbox Series X and S consoles combined, which is also pretty good. So gaming is as healthy as it's ever been. Even with the chip shortages, um, gamers are still buying those consoles in waves. What's crazy about Xbox is no AAA exclusives since the console launch. I think Flight Simulator comes out this month or this um, this today or sometime this week. But come on, bro. Fight Simulator. Um, nothing until Halo. And it's still past 6.5 million, which is dope. All right. We got some good Xbox news. And we have some uh, not so good Xbox news. This is coming from Sony X CEO Sean Layden. And <coughs> just a disclaimer. <coughs> ah, something in my chest. Sean Layden. He's very neutral. Since he's left PlayStation, he's blasted PlayStation and he's um, um, praised PlayStation. He's blasted Xbox and he's praised Xbox. Listen to what he says concerning Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass, which is very interesting. He pretty much says the Game Pass business model is not a sustainable model. And this isn't coming from some random YouTuber, some armchair analysis. He is, he was a former executive in one of these major companies and he knows the business model. He understands um, the developmental costs. He, he understands the budgets. He knows this stuff. So pay attention to what he says. He says, if you have only 250 million consoles out there, you're not going to get to half a billion subscribers, he said. Wait, no, no, let me go back. Let me go back. Um, his original comment this is what he says it's very hard to launch a 120 million dollar game on a subscription service charging 9.99 a month um, this is what he told game industry he pretty much said development costs each generation pretty much double he was saying that at the end of the playstation 4 era games triple a games were costing close to 100 million look at games like last of us 2 look better than most of the current gen games and he's saying by the end of the playstation 5 generation when developers really start tapping into the power of those systems games are going to be uh, up up to 200 million in developmental costs this is what he says you pencil it out you're not going to have 500 million subscribers before you start to recoup your investment. All right, this is what he continues to say. If you have only 250 million consoles out there, you're not going to get to half a billion subscribers. So how do you circle that square? Nobody knows yet or has figured it out yet, he says. So he's pretty much saying... Right now, the um, Game Pass business model is a losing strategy that there's no way it's going to be sustainable with the developmental cost, how much these games cost. And I have to be honest, this has me to think, and it makes sense now, why the Xbox games really haven't been up to par with um, PlayStation games because of the cost and how much they're getting from Game Pass. And so... You can't pour out all those um, resources and developers and, and um, um, technology and all that if you're not making that much to recoup it. I'm thinking of games like ReCore comes to mind last generation. ReCore, it was just something, I knew it was off. The game was like, it felt incomplete, cracked down. Games like that, I'm like, ah. Uh, <sighs> Even games, and I have to be honest, even what's about to launch now, um, Psychonauts 2, that's coming out soon. It's a f Xbox First Party Studio, and the game looks like a PlayStation 2 game. And I see um, on Twitter, there's been a whole Ratchet and Clank versus Psychonauts and how the games look, and they look night and day. And I see the reply by Xbox dudes, it's the art style, bro. The games have two different art styles. Every time I hear that, I think of Crackdown. Because when Crackdown launched on the Xbox One, um, that, that was the excuse. It's a different art style. And even if you say Psychonauts, we're going off at attention, but we got more news items. Even if you say Psychonauts, it's an indie game. Bro, look at Keenan Bridge of Spirits about to launch uh, next month on PS5. That's an indie game. Look at those two games running. 
night and day, bro. And so it makes sort of some sense why um, Xbox, the games just haven't been there. But hopefully they can start pouring out more money into their um, developmental studios and launch, um, get, get better games. But right now, uh, Sean Layden is saying it just don't make sense, bro. Um, how are you going to charge $10 a month and recoup big triple A games? All right. One more news item ps5 restocks according to comicbook.com and multiple sources are saying this this month could be one of the biggest playstation 5 restock months ever specifically this week today target target had um ps5 consoles on sale and so big 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 playstation 5 restocks i was able to get me a digital all digital ps5 which is what i wanted so i'll be able to give away i'm going to be giving away a console to a lucky subscriber of this channel and following me on twitter as well so those are all the news items for this video what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button Stay up to date, all things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.